Hey guys, it is December 21st, it is 5 p.m. and um, I'm going to be discussing a couple of trades that I did today, uh, although I didn't close them. I'm swinging both of them. Now, these trades or these positions are super small. They're not paper trading, but almost. <laughs> They're very, very small. Um, I prefer to always have some skin in the game, you know. Um, when I trade, because I do think it's a more realistic feeling. Although I do, I, I think paper trading is also great. It's great for practice, but when I train, when I try things, I do like to have some real money on the line, even though it's not much at all by any means. Okay, so today the SPY in the morning, here, let me show you this. In the morning, the SPY was gapping down and it came down and I was I was looking for for place to the downside I was looking at AMD at one point um, I was looking at McDonald's too um, but I didn't I was not given a clean setup I was not given a clean pattern and it, it just so happened that eventually the SPY turned around and it started to grind up and it actually closed very bullishly for me in my um, who knows what can happen but I do believe we go up from here okay now um, so the SPY, the SPY turned around and I changed my focus from place to the downside to place to the upside again I wanted, okay, well, in this case, I wanted Roku, but Roku had left without me in the morning, and it didn't look back, so, yeah, I, I couldn't get this one. Instead, I tried two things. First, I tried Cree, C-R-E-E. -E. This is where I went in in the five-minute candle, in the five-minute chart. Uh, ba -ba -bum. I went in here, but this one did a whole bunch of nothing for a long time, then it slided down, and only at the end it started to pick up. Um, if this was a uh, regular sized position, I would be out, but it's very small, and I do think that we can go up from here, right? Um, this is yeah where we are at all-time highs. Um, the momentum is pushing up. Yeah, I think there's a good chance we go up from here. Um, we are at 99.35, which means that we will probably retest 100, and if there is some momentum, we'll break through. Um, or that's my guess anyway. And if it doesn't happen, I'll just get out. I'll cut my loss, my um, my options expire on the 31st. So yeah, there's still plenty of time for this play to work. If, by the way, you hear a cat in the background and a giggling lady, that's my cat and my wife. So yeah, I don't think they're gonna say hi, but they are there. Okay, you guys might have heard that. Okay, good, moving on. Pick, P I C. All right. Um, sorry, hard to focus. Okay, so uh, again, I went in on the five-minute chart, and this one, I really, again, like this is super tiny, but this is a penny stock. This, the, the, there was a huge gap up here, and. I caught this when it was already up like 26%, something like that, which, I mean, realistically speaking, how much how much higher up can it go? Well, who knows? Being a penny stock, who knows? I do believe that we go up from here, even though I do see a little um, divergence here. Eh, maybe not so much. No, it's okay, because these are lower, lower highs. Um, but... Penny stocks, I don't know if you have if you guys have any experience with them, they do their own thing. They do their own thing and technical analysis works 
to a degree. It's more momentum based. And I say momentum here, right? Um, so, again, I have the $20 calls January 15th. So here there's really a lot of time, a, a, a long time for this to work. And um, I have the $20 calls. So will we, will we push through $20? Let's see. This is all time highs. We are super extended. Yes. But look at this volume. And I mean, this this stock moves. It's not that when when it goes up, it's not a one and done, right? So who knows what might happen? I have no idea if this trade is gonna work out or not. But my thesis is that we're gonna break 20 and maybe go up to 21, 20. I don't know, maybe. Um, and if again, if it doesn't happen, then whatever i'll just i'll just cut my loss uh, that's what risk management and capital management are for and um now that i mentioned that i wanted to say that lately i'm not too happy with my results um i, I feel like my system is struggling a little bit it's nothing that has me worried because you know th these things happen no system performs perfectly in every market condition and you know like november well the, the vaccine news the sector rotation the the end of the the end of the year you know like the market is a little bit all over the place it's a little bit you know not normal these days these weeks these months so i just have to trade smaller than usual i just have to trade more careful than usual and just wait for the best setups to present themselves um yeah no i think that's about it for today guys um i'm trying new things here today uh that's allowed that's allowed and just as long as you trade small okay all right guys uh thank you so much for checking out the video uh there's no proof today i will prove my trades when i close the swing trades that i have open today and um yeah i will talk to you tomorrow okay all right have a good one bye